Hi everybody, welcome to Dave and Joe Liberty Stand. Uh, Joe's going to tell us what we're talking about today. What's the title of the show? Well, Dallas Police Killer. Ooh. Pretty, uh... Want to get us rolling on that? Well, we just watched a, uh, interview of the, with the parents. By Jorns? Um, or Jorns. Through the Blaze. Lawrence Jones. And, uh... From the Blaze. So they the the family chose, or they asked him. From what what I understood, they, they saw him, on, him. They saw him on another show, on uh, CNN. I, I don't know CNN or somewhere. Is he I, part I of the Blaze? Uh, oh yeah. Oh, he's okay. a, he's on Dana's show. He's one of Dana Dana Lash's uh, guests. Well, no, it's like or assistant something? or something. On okay. Her. But he's still you know freelance. Goes out and does other you know CNN. Fox, whatever, and they saw him on something, and and they liked him for whatever reason. Yeah. He, well, uh, the family's a, a strong Christ, Christian family, and Lawrence is a very strong Christian, and they saw that in him, and they wanted. They said, "No, nope, we'll only do one interview, and it's with Lawrence Jones." Right. Because, well, uh, one thing that stood out to me is, you know, there wasn't a lot of God talk. There wasn't, and you know, granted, I mean, they're they're going through a lot. They're they're grieving. I mean, this was only this, what a this few was, days after no, the. Well, it was a few, a couple days. A couple after, days after the shooting. After the shooting, plus they had literally in their own home where they were doing the video, um, they had, they had just concluded a memorial, memorial for their kid. Yeah. Um, that was kind of bad timing, I think. You know, emotionally, uh, I think. But they um, wanted to do that, though. Well, the dad saying. didn't, as you could tell. Yeah, the dad. He was very. He couldn't really. He didn't really say hardly anything. He could There he was could, a, he could hardly the mother stand up and then the the stepmother step. who had been in his life since he was at least eight. Right. Yeah. Uh, from what what I heard. So, but you know, I mean, you know, he they they talked about gun control. They talked, you know, they talked about like, oh, that's like to me, like that's going to solve this. No, I mean, their son had. One gun or a hundred guns. Here's, They're talking about a number of guns. Well, in a, that kind of thing, let, too. let me try to break it down a little bit. Um, here's what I'm thinking at this moment. Uh, um, their son, whatever, had obviously problems. You don't go out and just randomly shoot cops or no. anybody else. He was in the military. Be, because he was he upset. In the military, but. I mean, I'm upset about people. And believe you me, that's what your mind's for. That's what you picture in your mind doing you don't do that in real life you, uh, right your uh, your sin um, nature i mean um, he he, he but, chose to but understandably it was only a day a couple days after this had happened and it was right after a memorial the interview the, 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 the interview when that took place right. that we're talking about it they were upset they're trying to defend their son they love their son that's their son they love him they don't even. Well, un- they, they don't understand why he did this. Right. They, they acknowledge they, that they, they loved him, but the yeah. dad said the few words that the dad did say is, "I hated what he did. I loved my well, son, right. yes. but I hated what he of did." Course. You know, and I think what what's the redemptiveness? What's the what's the God story in this? You know, I mean, they did talk about loving one another. You know, but the thing is, there is evil in this country or in this world. I mean. And their son was used by he did evil. He he and the you know I don't know if you got it or not, but the uh, the mom, the real mom, the black lady, mm-hmm. was a, uh, a preacher. Oh, was she? Yes. So she's coming from somewhere that I mean speaks to other people about people. Uh huh. And um, but I think it's just. I mean, it's her son. It's her firstborn son. I mean, right. you're, you're pretty shaken. I mean, I, th- I think, A, it was too soon, and B, it was right after the memorial. I think... Well, he, and she, uh, she uh, said uh, every life matters. And, you know, she right. didn't support... Right. No, she did. Black she Lives took, Matter, per se, but... She took ownership of a lot of things, you know. Yeah. She didn't... I just think there, if for, you know... I mean, I'm, I may be being critical... With where I'm coming from, but again, I mean, where was the redemptiveness in this story? What, where was, where's God? What's God's role? What's God's play 
you know, what can we lift and, out and of this? And if he came up from a religious home, and his mom is a preacher, <clears throat> why didn't he come to her? Or well, okay, house, that's a good or, uh, point because they did talk about how he was isolated. And that is one thing where the devil self, can I, get self isolated. Yeah, yeah, chose. Yeah, yeah. But you know, it's like in in all of our families and all of our lives, you know, maybe something. I mean, you know, we can't sit there and second guess and say I could have, should have, woulda. But I think we need to be in all of us need to be uh, reaching out to people or trying to break down barriers and loving people and. You know, hey, should you talk to somebody about this? I I often encourage people, my own wife, my own children, you know, to talk to someone else. Sure. Right. You know, to, hey, if you, you know, you're struggling with this. I mean, my daughter's, like the other day, she was, one of her daughters just got married. And she was struggling with some reaction or some comments by some family members. And she was, you know, yeah, it, I, I was saying. The wet, the, the dark. The daughter that the, got, the got married, married. Yeah. Somebody she was in, displeased with comments. Uh, well, I mean, members. it was there was okay. You can't invite everyone. Right. There was limitations on space. Limit, you know. So there was some family that were invited and they were lashing out, hurt. Which I understand that, but I mean, they have to understand not everyone. So ultimately, what I'm getting at though is, you know, I, I kind of told my daughter, you know, well, you know, I wouldn't, don't let that eat at you, don't, you know, just kind of ignore that, don't pay much attention to that. It's but, your day, but don't I, pay attention. Well, and it was stuff. over with, but now she's, you know, this is after the fact, oh, okay. and there was issues before the fact, too, before the wedding, but, you know, now, you know, what can you do about it, per se, or... You know, don't let that eat on you. It's like this young man that shot these police officers. It's like, you know, he was allowing Satan to to work. And you know, the thing of it is, his from heart. what we found out about him, I mean, of course, it's through his parents, you know, and everything. But yeah, it seemed like he was a decent, good guy. I mean, he wanted well, he wanted yeah. to be he wanted to well, be a, he wanted to be a cop. police officer at one point, and then he wanted and then he did go to the military. And then he, and he but then, like a, like and, the thing, like the mother said though. Was there was no sign that she knew where he was going. He said he was going to a rally, but then she had no idea that he would take these steps. And his, by the way, his stepmom is white, so you and, know and it she, wasn't like he was against white people. It was he he did target white people. And, and, and the two moms the, were the, the real mom loving and, one yeah. another. They're grieving together. Well, no, I mean, it's, doesn't it seem like they've been best friends from well, the they, beginning? Yeah, I, they I were. Mean, it's, it's an incredible thing. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, ultimately, though, I guess what do we have to say? Because, obviously, they're they're grieving. I mean, I wouldn't, I don't know what I would be saying that if it was me in their shoes. But I would say, you know, I would encourage, you know, fam your family members uh, to definitely, if, if they're isolating themselves, if we are isolating ourselves, you know, encourage them to reach out to get help. Maybe even us reaching out to them. Well, my as boss well. says I isolate myself. Yeah, yeah, we all can and do. But, and, I, I, but I, I'm here with you now, and we're right, right we're now. openly discussing, having conversations about deep stuff. But I'm saying there's different levels of that. Right. Um, right. But I'm also watching Glenn Beck about. You know, trying to be good right, and, and right. help. You know, well, yeah, that, because that, it's uh, if he if he was ingrained or connected with some people. I mean, not to say that this wouldn't happen have happened anyway, but I guess the point is, if we, if you see somebody who is isolating themselves, who team, you know, just maybe needs someone to come alongside them, down and um, low and dark, yeah, and, uh, then yeah. I would encourage you to, you know, reach out to them and and. So be there for them. Um, you know, I mean, again, I'm not saying that this would have prevented anything, but I think we need to be more aware of those around us and caring for each other more so. So what do you have in your last comments? Um, I, I think the guy snapped, and uh, he came from a 
obviously a really nice, good family that loved him. And uh, something happened to him when he was in the military, and um, it changed him. And he was a broken person, and this happened. Um, well, and evil. Um, yeah. I mean, one of the shows that no, we can't go on about. We it, may talk about is something about is about everyone's good. We're on ten. But you know, is everyone good? Everyone's and, good and, and bad. The, but the thing, our our nature, God tells us we have a sin nature. We all have the propensity, and we all do sin. We all sin. So and we'll talk about that further we will. on more shows all to right. come. We'll see you then. God bless y'all. Thanks guys. so much.